With the new Mobile Be Haptics Player app, it is a lot easier to create and share audio to haptics profiles. So I thought it would be a good idea to make an introduction video on how to get about creating a profile that tries to help with immersion in a game that is not yet natively supported. The first important thing is to learn to pick your fights. Story-driven games with lots of variation in gameplay and sound often provide great challenges for one single audio profile. While mostly music-driven games can be fun with some good vibrations, but won't lend themselves to what I would call as native simulation audio to haptics. So we are looking for a game where some sounds and mechanics appear all the time. Wave shooters, FPS and roguelikes are usually well suited for that. I am very obviously very German, so I am as good at aiming a gun as I am at that humor thing. So I picked a sword fighting roguelike called Until You Fall today. Not only to create, but also to use audio to haptics on your tech suit, you will need one of these contraptions. But maybe with better cable management. To split the audio to your earplugs or headphones as well as your vest input. And the cable will have to be plugged into the vest to create and edit any profiles in the mobile app. Now, I am impressively mediocre at gaming, and it gets a lot worse when trying to fondle my phone at the same time. One second. Well, I died. So the first thing I usually do is record some gameplay, so I can make adjustments while merely watching a video, where I can also skip backwards and forwards for fine tuning. It also makes you look really cool to watch a video of your own gaming in VR. You can make your life a bit easier by turning down the music in comparison to sound effects, although I am trying to increase immersion, so I usually try not to touch these settings, as they are optimized for immersion by the game creators already. If you do, be sure to write down what you did in the profile description later. I also always write down what volume settings I ended up with, since this will be important information for others to use your profile later. And I am older, so my memory just doesn't work as great anymore. Let's jump into the app now. When you click on the ATH tab at the bottom and then the hamburger icon on the bottom left, you can see a list of your locally available profiles. To create a new one, we just click the plus sign and pick a genre and title. The first thing I usually do is to deactivate all the channel feedback so I don't get distracted. You will probably have to scroll sideways for that. At the top, you will see a representation of the audio coming into the vest input. At the very left, where it says 35Hz, are the very low frequencies, so your bassy sounds. Whereas at the very right at 18.5kHz are the very high and screechy ones. For an as native profile, I will usually try to keep away from frequencies in the middle, since human voices and music will usually be in the range between 80Hz and 10kHz, so try to focus on the two leftmost and two rightmost channels. It takes some time and experience to estimate the frequencies of sounds, but deep rumbles like large footsteps, wind and explosions will usually be on the low end or left, whereas sword clangs and screeches will be on the high end or right. Gunshots are often seen on both ends, so you can pick and choose what matches your game the best. The next thing you want to do is play back your footage and look at the frequency spectrum on top. When one of the sounds is audible that you want to map, try to see what channels will jump off the most and go back and forth to confirm that. If you found your frequency channel, you can activate it in the middle. If you click on the percentage button at the bottom of the channel, you can create the mapping what motors you want to vibrate. Here I am going for a clash feeling in your chest to represent the sword fighting. You can also adjust the feedback intensity here. Now scroll back up and try to adjust the lower boundary of your channel until the sound effect you want to map just shoots above it, but is below this threshold in other gameplay. This takes some fine tuning, so it's good that you don't have to concentrate on playing at the same time. When you are done with this channel, you can try to add a second or even third one. Here I wanted to add some body rumble in the low end when you crush the crystals during levels, which makes for a nice and epic feeling. If you are happy with how the effect feels and triggers, you should keep the app running and play through some of the game once more, just to make sure that it works as intended and doesn't trigger too much in unwanted situations like epic music. Finally, you can save your profile locally and then upload it to the community for everyone to enjoy. 
If you do this, please include some information on what headset and audio setting you use to create it and add some meaningful tags so people can find it. And that's it. Thanks for watching to the end. I know this probably got boring after a while, so here's an outtake to cheer you up. <sighs> I'm dead. Oh great. I'm dead. <sighs> I'm dead. Oh. Oh great. I died?